Howdy mates, how are we doing? Here's a part three video over at the Highlands Hammock State Park. So now we're a little bit away from the water at the moment. We're a little more inland. So we're in a great example of what is known as an ancient hammock. So it's called that because this particular portion of the state park is actually listed under the um, the old growth forest network. So what that essentially means is it's one of the few forests in this area that has remained completely untouched in terms of development or even for agricultural use. So it's bound that you will find more native plants here and the common live oak trees that we associate with Florida. There's quite a few of them that are along this trail that are actually quite huge. However, though, that's not going to be the entire premise of the video. I noticed as I was walking along, I noticed these guys right here. You see this plant you know, that has all of these berries, as you can tell, they're in clusters. I mean, it's just, it's very abundant. Well, for those of you not as familiar, this is known as marl berry, or the scientific name goes Ardesia squamulosa. So, this particular plant is actually a native variety, and it is noted to be in the Myrcene family, not to be confused with another type of plant that is actually called Myrcene. So, you, as you can tell, uh, it looks like the berries are in the process of ripening. Here's a good way to know if they're ripe is they turn into a dark purple when they're ready. The thing is, though the berries are indeed edible for this plant, it's, once again, a last resort type of option. Because apparently, from what I've had a chance to read up on, is it's actually not very good kind of has like a very what you call bitter taste but that being said it's an excellent plant for our wildlife especially our birds just because well it's essentially like a cafe for them and for another even how abundant it is is a great cover too against predators and they are, of course, noted for having their glossy leaves as well. Yeah, look at that. So, yes, you will commonly see them usually in hammock settings. Uh, I think you can occasionally find them in uh, coastal dunes. But most likely you're going to see them in hardwood hammocks. And as you can see, you know, the shrub itself can actually grow quite tall, such as this one. Uh, this one is probably about 15, 20 feet high. So it, it's it's got some height to it. And it's actually a favorite, especially in landscaping. It serves as like a great uh, hedge species. And for another, it can attract your birds, too as well as other pollinators. So then... Okay. Hold on just a second. I think I just noticed another plant that I noticed while filming. So I'm just going to like pause it for a moment to just double check. Hold on. Okay. Wow. So I noticed this while I was filming, when I was talking about Myrcene, we've actually got one... Right here, as a matter of fact. So, myrcene is actually another common shrub found here. 
They actually look very similar to another plant called wax myrtle. But the thing is, with myrcene, the leaves are also glossy. And for another, it's also a tall shrub. And the uh, particular uh, fruits, they're not, they, they don't feel as waxy as like Max Myrtle would. Yep. So Myrcene also has some prominent leaves. And apparently they actually had an ethnobotanical use. According to historical record, the Seminoles would actually use the dried leaves from myrcene and mix it with uh, smoking tobacco. So in a sense, you could say the uh, leaves, once they were dried, they served as like a great uh, roll, you know, to hold the tobacco. So that that's quite neat. That they're both literally right next to each other. And for another, you know, in terms of uh, biological classification, they are, I mean, they are a little closely related. So it's quite neat to see both of them coexisting in the same space. But, yeah. Back at the Marlberry. So the thing is, there is a known invasive plant to look out for, especially down here. It's called the coral ardizia. Now, at basic, you know, they fall under the same genus, which is ardizia. So, that being said, they are indeed uh, related to one another. But as opposed to the dark purple that I mentioned, coral ardizia forms red berries and they're quite a, and they're basically the same size as those berries that i just showed you guys so if you see coral ardizia you get it out of there because it's it's a fierce one you know it has that capability to just spread so easily and given that it is an invasive nothing keeps it in check so for those of you who are at a, you know, say a disturbed area and you see that, get rid of it if you can. So, all right. If you guys ever have a chance to visit Highlands Hammock State Park, it is truly a wonderful site. It's, it's one of the first state parks that was formed in Florida. It's existed for nearly a hundred years. So, all right. Take care, you guys. Enjoy your Wednesday.